Hi, uh, welcome to another video. We're just going to do some some simple sketching today, but we're perhaps just going to look at a simple object. We're just going to sketch this this pencil, but we're going to introduce this idea of drawing curves. So, so uh, curves are, are much harder to draw than than straight lines. Uh, although straight lines can be quite hard to draw. <laughs> But particularly if we're trying to draw it in, uh, in isometric uh, or perspective. Okay, so we're just going to have a quick look at how we construct, how we construct a curve uh, and draw a simple shape, um, uh, a simple cylindrical shape here. Okay, so it's always good to have a warm up. As you can see I've had a quick warm up. Draw some ellipses. Okay, try and draw some circles. Okay. Draw a few straight lines. Okay, it's always useful just to have a quick, um, just have a quick go, just to get everything warm, especially in the winter now. We're really cold. So if we look at drawing this, drawing this pencil, uh, if we just consider how we might draw it in orthographic to start with. Okay, I'll try and draw it a little bit, a little bit bigger. So we can have a very simple drawing here. So we know it's going to have a, it's got a straight end here. Uh, it's going to have a point up at one end, okay. We can effectively draw the curve. There will actually be a curved line effectively there if we, had to the, if we did a drawing of it. So we can draw that curve there if I can hit that point, okay. And we can just draw a simple side view of this pencil. Obviously it has a lead in it wasn't sharpened very well, but we will actually have a lead at some point. So there will be a line, be a line there. Um, if we did the, the hidden view, that lead's going to go right down through the you know, through the pencil. So if we project that now, perhaps we project it in first angle. Looking through from this direction, then we would draw what we see over here, it's a fairly terrible circle, um, but we would also have the point, uh, and we'd also have the lead there as well. Okay, so we're looking through through this way and seeing what we draw over here. Similarly, if we look through from this direction, we, we would actually see something, you know, something much uh, much the same uh, in reality, uh, except we wouldn't have the point on it. So we would simply see the the lead. In this end. So here we have, we have this end, and over here we have the detail. We have the detail of this end. Okay. So when we're drawing something circular, uh, we may look at drawing a bounding, a boundary box sometime. But for this one, it's probably simpler if we just simply draw the centre line of it. So we draw a centre line. I'm going to have a go at doing it in isometric. Um, so we're just going to draw the centre line of that, and if you remember with isometric, it's this idea that we have everything at is a sort of 120 degrees or 60 degrees to each other. Okay. So at the end of this uh, end of this pencil, we're going to draw effectively this profile, but we're going to draw this profile in in isometric. So our vertical line will always be vertical. If you look at this line here. Okay. But this, this horizontal line is going to represent this line, represent this line here. Okay, so if I can estimate that, we'll draw that line something something like that. Okay, that's quite right. There. Okay. So we can look at the sizes. So the length of this line, we can put that in at the same kind of length. So we can mark that off here. And similarly, the length will be the same across here. So I'm roughly going to draw that. And do points here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a box that this is going to go in. So we're simply going to draw some parallel lines. Okay. But this box now gives us this circular element, but obviously it's at an angle. Okay. So with this box, what we know is that this circle, so this point here and this point here, 
will actually represent this point here and this point here. Okay. And similarly on the horizontal line, we have this point here and this point here. Okay. There's other ways you construct, can construct this, but what we're really then going to do is we're simply going to try, in fact, I don't want to do that one, I should do this much fainter. Okay. So it's now just a matter of trying to blend. This is where a little bit of artistry comes into it. I should do this, I should do the bottom ones much fainter because we don't see them. Okay, so that kind of gives us an ellipse, but it gives us an ellipse uh, in, an, in an isometric view. Okay, so this is the end of the pen, uh, pencil, sorry. We can then draw the other ends down here, so I'm just going to do the same thing. Vertical line, try and get that as parallel with that as possible. Another line here. Uh, if I wanted to, I could project them. It's probably easier if I just draw them on here rather than it's a bit messy. Okay, and then again, draw a box and do it faintly, obviously. Burrows are actually quite nice because you can draw quite, quite faintly with them. So if you're feeling brave, and if you've had a little practice with your, with your ellipses, what you can do, have a quick practice, kind of shape I want, you can actually put one in here, all right? So I, I do, I'm just gonna do it really, really roughly, as you can see. <laughs> And we know that this line and this line is going to connect up these two, these two ellipses. Okay. We can actually get a line that's going to hit those two. Okay, so this is going to give us the body, the body of our pen here. And now we also have this point out here. So I'm going to exaggerate that point, make it look a little bit more elegant. Okay. Just an arbitrary point, but we also know that that line connects, and that line connects to the bottom. So it will hit the edge. Oh, draw it. The edge of this of this ellipse. Okay, so you can kind of see now where the where the shape is going to come from, and so I can put in my lines. Similarly, I follow these lines. Oh. I can follow it. Okay. So I shouldn't have done this ellipse. So this line here, I should have done a little, a little fainter. But now we can start just blocking this in. Depends how much time you've got, really. Okay. And of course, we've also got the lead of the pencil. So I'm just going to. This would actually be another little ellipse up here. If I do that faint, then I can draw, I can draw my lead in there. Okay. And then if you want to, I mean, by all means, if you've got some marker pens, go over it in marker, uh, or you can just block it in with uh, with biro. It just makes it pop out, pop out a little bit, a little bit more. Okay. You can draw over here, and obviously, if you want to, you can just put a little bit of the shade in. Maybe a little reflection line up here. Um, this would always taper. These lines in here would should should ideally taper because it is a tapered portion. Okay, and you can see where we're coming in there with the with the pen now, with the pencil. Uh, if we want to, we can just put a little maybe even put a little a little shadow in there. Okay, just grounds it down to the down to the base. Okay, but this is how we this is how we would construct construct our ellipses generally. Okay, maybe we'll have to revisit this in. Okay. And again if you want to draw anything with ellipses, you know, we can draw just draw a quick wheel if we want to. Okay, just quick, rough and simple.